Hello, and welcome to Kingdom Hearts RE Chain of Memories. So, this is definitely not one of the big fan favorites because of the card battling system, and personally, I agree. <laughs> but, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this started, have a little fun, and we're gonna try to get through the whole story. Now, I played the original RE Chain of Memories when it was on the PS3, uh, and... I completed Sora's story, but I got like halfway through Riku's, so this will be my opportunity to actually complete both stories. So let's go ahead and start this up. So let's see. Oh, we did proud mode last time, let's do proud mode again. Sure, why not? And here we go. Anyway, it's going to do this scene again, so I should uh, be talking because I really don't want to get flagged again. So anyway, um, maybe I'll use this time to talk about things. So recently, they revealed Toy Story is going to be in Kingdom Hearts 3, and I absolutely am excited about that. Like, insanely so. I mean, Toy Story really got me into um, you know, art and animation, and it's... It, it, it kind of defined me as a person, actually, so to see it finally in one of my favorite games is absolutely just blowing my mind, and I can't wait. And the scenes I've seen so far that they've shown, it looks fantastic and straight out of the movie, and I cannot wait to play this game. Now, they are um, looking at a 2018 window, and I know some people are skeptical about that, but I honestly do will say this. Um, when it comes to Kingdom Hearts, they have been pretty much on the ball. They would not have announced any kind of window unless they were absolutely sure they can get it out in that window. But that's still a whole year to get it out when 2018 rolls around. So, I don't really see that being a problem. And honestly, even if they did push it back, even just by a little bit, I honestly don't think it's you know, gonna hurt it. In fact, I'd, if they have to push it back, I'd rather they push it back a little bit. Because I want the game to be absolutely fantastic. Because this series deserves it. Convoluted story or not, it definitely is well done and still deserves the best treatment it can be given. So I think we're finally reaching the end of this song. I've had to talk for a few minutes and rant. So, hopefully, uh, that's all I have to do. And we're going to start this lovely mess of this chain of memories because uh, the car... I'm going to complain a lot about the car battling system, so don't be surprised if you hear me groaning a lot playing this game. I mean, you get used to it after a while, and it's okay, and you kind of halfway don't notice it. You know, once you have enough, you know, cards in your deck to actually do stuff. But, uh, other than that, yeah, it's just uh, something we got to deal with. We'll get through it. And I knew I think Riku's deck is automatic when his story is unlocked, so I don't have to worry about customizing it. Oh, and we're all done. Let's get ready for this journey. Hey, I remember that scene. Let's go chase Pluto. It's like a touching little beginning scene. What you doing, Sora? Can't stay asleep? Along the road ahead lies something you need. Black coats again. However, in order to claim it, you must lose something that is dear to you. Oh, what do we got here? My cute little angel doll. Who 
could this be? I wonder. Oh, Castle Oblivion. Looks all kinds of messed up. go Hey, you think it's okay to barge in? But we gotta do it, if we get a frog again. The king? King Mickey's here? Something just told me he'd be here, okay? Sure, Donald. Really? Cause now that you mention it, I was kind of thinking the same thing. Seriously? Me too. One look at this castle, and I just knew. Our very best friends. They're here. <laughs> yep. Guess great minds think alike. Wait, hey, hold on. It can't be just a coincidence. Oh no, Kimmy. You don't mean that. Yep, I had it too. Mm-hmm. I had the exact same feeling. Gorge! Maybe it's contagious. No, oh, no, oh. something screwy. We gotta go take a look. I'm with Donald. All right. Something screwy. <laughs> Where are you going? That way, to the door. <laughs> are you scared? Ah, oh, don't be ridiculous. Come on, let's go, Goofy. That could be more ridiculous than hey, suddenly fellas, going through puberty uh, between we games. The door behind us before we go? Sora! That's it. Who are you? <laughs> Bueno. Why is it working? I should think it's obvious. The moment you set foot in this castle, you forgot every spell and every ability you ever knew. In this place, to find is to lose, and to lose is to find. That is the way in Castle Oblivion. Castle Oblivion? that happen here you will meet people that you have known in the past and you will meet people you miss I miss Riku you mean Riku's here maybe if what you want is to find him More Lucia. I know those pedals. What'd you do? I merely sampled your memories, and from them, I made this. To reunite with those you hold dear. What's this? A card? 
It is a promise for the reunion you seek. Hold the car to open the door, and beyond it a new world. Proceed, Sora. To lose and claim anew. Or, to claim anew, only to lose. Huh. Eh, cryptic much? Come on. Let's go. Obtain the Traverse Town card. Yep, last there are for buttons. Yep, select the card. Can't be right. We're in Traverse Town? What you see isn't real. This town is an illusion created by your memories ingrained in that card. My memories? Forget about that, Sora. We lost Donald and Goofy. Donald? Goofy? Guys, where are you? What did you do with them? They are at the mercy of the cards now. The card system which you are going to hate so much. Master the cards, and their strength will be yours again. The laws of this castle require that your friends be transformed into cards. If you value your friends, you won't be able to pick them up. The cards you pick up are added to the top of your stack. Use them, and your friends will come to your aid. Donald! The cards you use vanish, but they will reappear to aid you time and again. Cards are the hearts of your friends. Everything in this castle is ruled by cards. Oh god, why? Whether an enemy or a door confronts you, Cars are the only way to proceed. But you mustn't forget your own strength. First, think of yourself. Move, then use the cards. You now know how to use your strength. But it would be of no use if you lose sight of your opponent. I wonder if you can catch me. Okay, so change the buttons on me a little bit. Good. Every move you make causes a card to appear, disappear. If you use up all your cards, you will be unable to act. But there is a solution. Keep using cars until you run out, and I will show you. You have no more cards, and without them, no power. If you want that power back, you must focus. Bid the card to turn to you, and they will. I remember to do that. 
The strength of your heart brought back the lost cards. You can recall spent cards at any time. You need only wish it. But each time you do, the cards will take longer to return. The cards are by no means unlimited. Use them wisely. Anticipate the flow of battle. And choose the most effective cards. You may use any card in your deck. The four card types you use in battle are grouped into two wider categories. The first category includes attack cards, magic cards, and item cards. The second category consists entirely of enemy cards. To use that, to use cards from a different category. Okay. Cards will empower you whether you are attacking or defending. But it is up to you to decide when to attack and what to defend. Do not forget that. Are you two alright? Where have you been? You tell us. When you opened the door, we saw a strange light. And the rest is just... blank. Gee, that doesn't help. Try to remember what happened. I have to keep my journal up to date. Hey, Donald. Where'd I get the new clothes? What? Me too, Goofy. Somebody's been messing with our clothes. Could it be the cards again? That is for you to ponder. Master the cards and make your way through the castle. But from here, you walk alone. Alone? We can't let Sora go alone. Yeah, Sora can't do anything without our help. Thanks a lot, Donald. You sure you'll be okay? Of course. You want me to go alone? Fine. I can take care of myself. <laughs> the hero speaks boldly. Go then. The rest of Castle Oblivion awaits. Walk the avenues of latent memory, and you shall meet someone dear to you. I've got a bad feeling about this. Relax, Jiminy. I'm ready for any tricks he's got up his sleeve. How hard can it be to figure out these cards? All I have to do is use one in front of that door over there. Alright, the memory of Traverse Town. And cards. Yay. Let me know what I can do. But it gains me a card. Yep. Yeah, 
There we go. I mean, it's not the hardest, but it's still annoying. Jump into the field, press that. Well, hold on. Before I go through... room, I need the map card. Map cards are used to synthesize new unexplored rooms. First, set the map card you want to use. Oh, I gotta use that one next. Oh, that's right, because I can I can kind of uh, create the world, basically, as I go go through it. Uh, okay. Like this one, the cards be one or up, basically. Okay, that's why. The key card will only work in a second once I get there. <sighs> yeah, this is so fun. Yay. Yes, save points. I know how they work. Go ahead and save. Make sure we get nothing under here. Nothing there. All right. So I can use this or I can use this. Oh, no, it has to be two or above or a special card, doesn't it? Oh, no, it, no, it counts, it counts. But this is how I create rooms with enemies, basically. My cards. Seriously? I hate the card system. Alright, what's the bonus? Let's see. I can do HP boost, CP boost. Are there a new slight? Sliding dash, I think, will be very helpful. Let's see here. We'll do that. Just to get sliding dash back. Uh, 
All right, and that's okay. Ten to fifteen. So let's see here. Review my decks. Let's do some editing. Joy. Okay, so we have room for some. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. Okay, we're over. So we'll take that out for now. Wait, right, hold on. I can't just read. Hold on. So I can really add to it, I think. Okay. Ah, oh, darn it. What are you doing? There we go. Awakening. What does that card do then? I do not remember. I don't, it's gonna be a while before I remember how this, all this works. Oh, that's how it organized. Okay. That's how I can beat them, right? Like, combining them. Alright, so let's see. We got the slight, so let's go ahead and do a CP boost. Oh, darn it, I didn't... Here we go!
I forgot, it's a lot of pretty much loading up cards, and that's how you hit. special door that I need to use, but we can come back to it. Let's see. Oh, that's what that does. Let's see, a room where striking first is heavy damage to Heartless. So let's do, let's see. Let's do feeble. Oh, I have to be three or greater. Hold on. No, I have it. But then again, I might want to try to. Let's do this. Let's see if we can add to this. Okay. Can I add you to the deck? I can. Oh, darn it. So hold on. All this again. Ugh, I hate that. Let's see. Organizing thing, and I don't get it with this. Ugh. All right, fine. I can throw this at. Alright. 
We'll definitely get used to this. So I think this one HP boost is needed. So a little bit of each. start. I think I want like lots of enemies to fight. of what I'm doing right now. It's kind of annoying. Breaking hitting with everything you can. making our way. Let's see. Let's do another CP boost. Exciting card gameplay. Let's see, anything I can do? I 
Actually, what about the meeting ground? Hold on. Do I have enough for the meeting ground? It's zero. Are zero wild cards? I forget. Yeah, zero are like wild. They'll be that pretty much any requirement. Wait, hold on, hold on. I thought... Okay, I didn't know what meeting room exactly did. So hold on. I'm gonna go back a little bit. Like, I at least want to say what progress I do have. But to do that, I gotta go back a couple rooms. All right. Heading back. The good thing is, though, if I clear a room, it is just, you know, clear. So let's go ahead and... Let's see. Doors emblazoned with crowns are special doors. We need special cards called key cards to open the doors. Yeah, but I gotta be able to... Yeah, and then it's the cost of the door along with the key card. So, oh, sorry, it's all I'm going to use the key card, that's right. So, generally, it's good to couple it with something that's good. Like this. Then we use this card. Okay. It's not our fault. We don't know what's going on. Oh, yeah. Pluto? Things keep getting stranger. What's Pluto doing here? There's nothing strange about that. We came to Traverse Town with Pluto, didn't we? Did we? No, wait. According to my journal, it was before you met Sora that you came to town with Pluto. He's right. We were chasing after Pluto, and that's how we ended up in Castle Oblivion. But aren't we in Traverse Town? Well, it's not really Traverse Town. I think the card created this Traverse Town... I think the card created this Traverse Town inside Castle Oblivion. Ah, who cares about all that? It's too confusing. Yeah, that's, uh, this game in a nutshell. I don't know where we are, but let's just keep moving forward, defeating Heartless. We'll get somewhere. You'd better be careful, or it's the Heartless that are going to defeat you. Leon, it's you! What are you doing in Castle Oblivion? Castle Oblivion? What are you talking about? This is Traverse Town. And how do you know my name? Who are you? I've never met the likes of you before. Quit playing, Leon! We all fought the Heartless together. You know that. Look, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't even know your names. You don't? 
Sorry. I can't believe it. How can you have forgotten about us? I feel for you, but you've got the wrong guy. It happens all the time. Don't take it so personally, Sora. <gasps> you do know our name. I mean, his name. Now, hold on. Why do I know your name? You think Leon's just kidding around? If he is, it's not funny. Sora's really upset. Who's kidding around, Goofy? You and Donald are the ones who... Hey! I don't get it. Something's wrong with my memory. What's happening here? I don't know, Leon. Maybe Aerith was onto something after all. She said she sent someone canny kind of power and asked us to look into it. Well, this is as uncanny as it gets. Maybe you should take Sora to see Aerith. Yuffie, you know my name! Yep, looks like you know mine too. You know him? Nope, total stranger. But I definitely know his name. Strange, yes, but convenient. We can skip the introductions. How is it that you can accept the situation so easily? I don't get you. Well, I'm gonna run ahead and fill Aerith in. Leon, you give him the grand tour. See you later. I guess it's no use pondering over it. Come on, follow me. But there are heartless wandering around town. I better teach you how to protect yourself in battle. See the numbers printed on your cards? They range from zero to nine. Higher numbers mean stronger cards. If you or your enemy both play a card at the same time, the higher card wins. Go on, try it out. See how it works? Playing a card higher than your opponents and breaking through their defense is called a card break. Playing a lower card results in your attack being deflected. Even powerful cards can be deflected if the enemy's card is higher. Whoever is on the losing side of a break is wide open to attacks. Don't let that person be you. Cards zero as their value are special. No matter the, what card the enemy plays, you can break it with a zero card. But if you play the zero card too soon, the enemy can break it with any card they play. In other words, it's the most powerful card if it comes last, and the useless if it comes first. Try to make the most of it. Card values also affect the cost of assembling a deck. Keep that in mind. Now it's time to teach you how to stop cards. You don't have to use battle cards one at a time. Yeah, I've actually been doing that. Stopping cards and using them in threes is much stronger than using them individually. Go on, give it a try. Yeah. The sum of your three stop cards becomes the value you play. The value is usually high and hard to break and the combo attack deals a lot of damage. Don't hold back, show me what you can do. Ha! Combo attacks aren't the only benefit to sucking cards. Choose your cards carefully and you can unleash special abilities called slights. I just did. Slights come in all varieties and each has its own unique card combination. You should try it out once, eh, but once you've collected more cards and learn a slight or two. But keep one thing in mind, every time you use stop cards, you lose the first card you picked. You can't reload it. The lost card won't return until the end of battle. Relying on slides will cause your cards to run out. That means trouble. 
So basically, if I stack cards, make sure the first one I stack is a low, lowest value. I think you've got the hang of it, Sora. Yeah, more or less. I'll just pick up the rest when I fight some real battles. Here, I found this lying around. You take it. Remember what I told you and make good use of it. Ah, the Simba summon card and key of guidance, the next part of the story. Alright. Hold on one second. I think we'll end this episode here because we had a lot of beginning stuff. Alright, well, I'll go ahead and end the episode here for now, and as you can guess, uh, it's just as lovely as I remember it. So this will be interesting, but if I have to, the key to really beating someone up is just using stacked cards. And it was a nice reminder to make sure that if I use a slight, make sure that the lowest card is the first one to use, otherwise I'll lose that, and I'd rather keep the higher cards. Well. Anyway, we'll return to this lovely game uh, next time. So until then, I'll catch you later.